Hey everyone! It looks like every day I'm coming up with a great news about Linux gaming. And today, uh, the chosen one is The Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. A long awaited game. Not super fan of, of the franchise. I played Prince of Persia when I was younger. But the game is running on Linux day one. Uh, actually, not even day one. It's, it's running on Linux even before the official release date. So, let's get into it. All right, so this video is gonna be straightforward. I'm gonna show you how to install the latest Prince of Persia game on your Linux favorite distribution. Right now, I'm running Cache OS. As you can see here, I have uh, the latest uh, kernel at the time, which is a 6.7. And I'm running AMD 5950X and a NVIDIA RTX 1490 with the latest driver. In my opinion, the best way to run this game is to install Lutris and then install the Ubisoft Connect. So to do that, I'm going to show you. After you install Lutris here, you're going to press the, the little plus here. Search for the Lutris website for installer. And then you're going to type Ubisoft. And here we go. So you go through this install, you install everything. There is nothing crazy here. It's super straightforward. So before we start, I want to share with you my settings. So you go there, you right click on configure. And here there is a game info. There is not a lot you can do here, here either. Now the runner option. So here, what is important is to make sure you have the advanced tab uh, selected here. For the Wine version, I would go with uh, Wine G8-25. So this is just the latest one. Uh, you take, obviously, like the almost like most recent from Proton G. I also like like the Wine uh, TKG Valve Experimental Bleeding Edge. Those ones they they work pretty well. Now here you don't have a lot of um, I think to play with. I would let everything like that. Then what you want to go and do is go through the system option here. And here, I think there is like two or three one we really need to go through. So here I'm going to enable like Mango HUD, which is like uh, super important for us and especially you to watch the FPS for this uh, little review and test. But then what you want to do here is like disable desktop effect. You enable that too. So like that, if you are in KDE like me, each time you, you start the launcher, well, it's going to disable all the effect and you're going to get on paper and in reality like less stutter and more FPS. At least this is the case for me. I made a, a full video about that. And uh, here, nothing special, but something that come up a lot is related to uh, the laptop and how to make sure the game run on the dedicated GPU and not on, on the other one. So here, what you need to do is like... Uh, Enable NVIDIA Prime Render Offload. Then you're going to have an option here, like say, can you use discrete graphic? You put yes here. And here you're going to have to choose the proper uh, Vulkan ICD loader, which is going to be uh, normally like your NVIDIA card. And yeah, that's all. You save. Now I'm going to launch this baby. We are already logged in, but everything works well. You're going to have a little pop-up asking you what are your login and password, you just go through it and you should be good to go. Now, I already downloaded Prince of Persia as a demo. I, I didn't buy it, but I think it's enough to prove my point that the game is running already, even if it's not officially available right now, it's just in pre-order. So here we click on uh, Prince of Persia and you just click on play and that should be fine. And voila! So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play with uh, my joystick there. My joystick is working. Or gamepad, I don't know how you call that in English, my bad, but... It is working, as you can see. And we're gonna check the option real quick. So I'm running in full screen window. In 1440p, 240Hz, which is what I'm running at right now. FPS limit to max. And everything to ultra, okay? And we're gonna start the game. I don't like to read those, I just like to get right into the game. 
Does he seem super smooth to me? I just want to fight. Hey, hello, little horse. Wait for me here. Don't worry. I won't be long. Oh yeah, I can run. Alright, so... Dude, the FPS are pretty awesome, if you ask me. 340 FPS. Support of the gamepad, out of the box. Calf. Been here before? No, but I've read about religion. Med Mount Calf was home. And? No one survived. Who oh, no. knows? Okay, I'm gonna pass that. Oh, wow. Oh, let's go. Okay. Oh, we can go down. How do I open that? This is pretty cool. I really dig this type of game. To jump on the wall, then here to jump higher, yeah. Oh. Oh man. Okay, I I think I get it. I think I have to jump. Oh, I can choose the direction. Okay, that's why. What is this? Oh, nice. Okay, so this is what I was saying earlier. I really like the fact they made a 2D and 3D like, game at the same time. I think it's, it's pretty dope. Well, this one was a quick one, but this is so good. I'm super happy about the fact that there is so many like big game releases because I consider this game to be like a, a triple A a type of release from uh, Ubisoft Montpellier and it's working day one on Linux so this is awesome you can play it on your personal computer or even on the Steam Deck looking at the performance I have I'm pretty sure the Steam Deck is gonna run that like finger in the nose so yeah that's all uh, guys if you like the video don't forget to put a thumb up and if you actually watch like all the video I would like to put a little comment uh, below just to make sure the algorithm is being hacked by our community. I want to thank you again to watch and also all the supporters of this channel. Guys, you are the best. See you in the next one. Bisou bisou. Man, I'm wondering if I'm going to buy this game. Really wondering if I'm going to buy it. That would be fun to stream, I guess.